My name is Bob Schiff, and uh, at this point in my life, I consider myself a woodcarver. I started many, many years ago, and the first thing I carved was a bird, and so I stuck with birds to a large extent, and as you can see here among my things, there are a number of birds. However, I found that there were a lot of other things in life besides birds, and so I started doing other types of carving. Some of my birds I painted because I was able to see them in my backyard in the neighborhood, and the colors were so beautiful that uh, I felt that they should be given color. However, other pieces like this I did without any uh, any painting because as a piece of sculpture I think it's more interesting to remain in in the raw wood. Uh, some of the other things that I decided to try were some uh, human faces which I don't have re represented here but I also did uh, a number of spoons like this because they made wonderful gifts and people used to admire them and I enjoyed giving them to them. They are Celtic love spoons. The Celts had a, a custom whereby if a boy was in love with a girl and wanted to give her something and tell her that he loved her, he would carve her a spoon and give her a spoon and like this. Uh, so that was one of the things I did as gifts. Also people who play golf seem to enjoy getting these uh, golf figures and in the beginning I did just uh, birds heads on the golf on the golf heads but I found that uh, they lent they lent themselves to doing a lot of other things a lot of other animals too so I did a walrus, I've also done a rhinoceros, a hippopotamus, a, uh, uh, a giraffe, and uh, those I still have at home. This walking stick is interesting. When my grandchildren were very young, I used to take them out walking occasionally, and I carved walking sticks for them. Uh, I have those at home because they've outgrown their walking sticks, but I decided that I had to have one for myself too. So uh, I found this nice stick and somebody gave me a piece of ironwood which is very difficult to carve. As a matter of fact, it's such a hard wood that if you put it in water, it would sink. But uh, I carved this and I used this for hiking. I carved a uh, walking stick for my wife also, so I have a pretty interesting collection of uh, walking sticks. But carving wood lends itself to a lot of other things too. For one thing, the environment that you put the animals in is interesting. Just doing a carving of an animal is nice and it's interesting. But if I had this on a base, it, it would not be as interesting as the fact that it's at the edge of a pond, there's a stone in the pond, and there are leaves and cattails that are also in the pond. So there's a great deal of variety that uh, wood carving lends itself to. One of the best ways to get to be a better and a more diverse carver is to uh, join a carving club. And there are loads of them all over, particularly, particularly here on Long Island. And uh, the members of the club give little classes, teach beginners, uh, have competitions in which you can enter your latest carvings. They also, at the meetings, we have a show-and-tell period where we show what we've carved recently 
and tell about it. Uh, if any of you are interested in joining a club or becoming a carver or getting more information, you can reach me uh, through a Eva, and uh, I hope you do. Okay, Bob, thank you so very much.